Hi guys, good morning. Today's project, we are going to remove this and then inlet. We're going to remove this part, the light, this anchor. So, I mean the, the tie down. So, we're going to add a, an anchor. We're going to remove all this. But then I'm going to fiberglass another piece of wood to make it give it more strength and rigidity. Getting all the silicone out. We're gonna sand it down. I'm gonna get the loose stuff out as much as possible. Alright, guys, I'm gonna get back with you. Alright, we're gonna try fit by now and see what I'm gonna plan to do with this sucker. Ugh. Alright. Figure out how to cover this hole. I was thinking about putting two wood right here. Um, either that or I can use a um, Starbuck bolt. Alright, let me start debating. Hey. What I'm doing, I'm outlining the, I'm going to cut the wood, I'm going to go fiberglass in, give it more strength and rigidity, and raise it up like three quarters of an inch. Cut the wood, fiber glass, and I feel the edge nice and give it a slope so the easy fiber can get on top. Next step, we put this fiber glass on. Alright, all right, I'm gonna get back with you and do it to one hand. All right, fiber guys all in and nice and done. Mm -hmm. uh, we got lake night tonight. I put down 5200 and we're about to put. All the boats, all the boats in. Now I'm gonna have to uh, put the boat underneath. As as it hang up, as it goes up, it's pretty pretty nice. So I'm not sure it's gonna hit that part or not, but we'll see. The real test will come when I get to the beach. Alright, I fit, look good.
Okay, it is what it looks like. Like something's hydro, hydro boat. <laughs> All right, this is what it looked like, guys. Simple, but hopefully effective. We'll find out. Right now, we are dry fit. Let's see how it looks. All right. What I'm going to have to do is cut this part off. Okay. Then somehow I can bring this part down. But I don't think I need this part. I don't think I need this part right here. Because the wire, I mean the rope is going to go straight to that. I might add some kind of cord to help the rope prevent the rope from bumping too much. Alright. Okay guys, we're going to cut the ground, uh, the part with this grounder, like right here. See how it look. Yeah, let's see how it go. Hey guys. Cut it half. Alright, see how it's going to go. It's going to ground up a little bit. Pink spray it. Protect it. From the salt. Then we're going to take this part out. Let's see if I can just put this right there. Hey guys, this is where I'm going to anchor. I'm in the winch. Okay, I have drilled a hole into this. So I'm going to put it under there to help brace it, make it stronger. You know, so the boat doesn't I just anchor to one little spot to, so the, the force will spread out evenly, give more strength. All right, and after that, I'm probably have to have this one like this, or some kind of matter right here to help so this thing doesn't move like this. So by having this brace like this, I get a flat one. It'll help. With uh, so when the winch is on, it the force is pulling this way. It's pulling the anchor up, so this doesn't have to move forward. I think my weak point is right here. It's gonna just like swirl. I have another brace right here, it's probably going to help a good bit, but we'll see. Alright, later. So, Alright, what do y'all think? Heavy duty. Okay, clothes on. What I did is I cut the head of this thing off. So it should be okay. I mean, it's gonna pull this way. I should have went down a little bit more if I cut this part off and go down the middle, but I just want it to look nice and tidy. All right, next step, run the Y. All right, you go, all the rope comes right here. I have about 100 foot of uh, rope right here. It goes, it goes down slowly. Let's see. Test it out. They also come with remote control, so it's pretty easy. 